Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome. If you're new here, my name is Mitsuko. So thank you so much for watching this video. Now today I am pretty excited because I'm trying the new NARS foundation. This is the light reflecting foundation and I have it in the shade Macau. I am Macau for all the foundations for NARS. I also will be reviewing the light reflecting setting powder. Um, and then this is in the shade Meza. So let's just get started. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. It's a really nice bottle. I feel like it's just a standard, beautiful bottle from NARS. And it also comes with a pump, with a nice pump. And then like I said, this is in the shade Macau and you get 30 mil for the foundation. So this foundation comes in 36 shades. It will give you a medium coverage with a natural finish. Also, it is good for redness, uneven texture, and dark spots, which is amazing. Looking at the information on the Sephora website, this is described as an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time, which is amazing. Skincare in a bottle, sign me up. This foundation retails for six 65 Canadian and then 49 USD. This is what you get for the light reflecting setting press setting powder. I feel like it's pretty standard NARS packaging, which I love. Very sleek and simple. It also comes with a sponge, which I don't know if I'll be using. I'll probably just use my own sponge, but anyway. A nice mirror. Okay, and then you have your powder. And then I have it in the shade Meza or Mesa, I'm not sure. Pretty nice. I'm really glad that NARS came out with um, more setting powders just because the one that they had before was just so light. And I'm pretty happy because now it goes from light to very deep and everyone has something they can try, which is amazing. So when I was on a Sephora website, I was having a really hard time figuring out which shade to buy for the foundation. Thankfully, NARS came out with a... Um, I guess with a guide and if you're having a hard time you can just follow the guide and then it will tell you exactly which pressed powder to buy like which shade to buy to match your foundation i will answer it on the screen and that's exactly what i did so i purchased meza based on that so we'll see this retails for 50 canadian and 39 usd it is a pressed powder formula it will give you a light coverage and a radiant finish now if you know me and you've been watching some of my videos on this channel you know i love nara's complexion products I have a couple of the foundations with me here, okay? And they're all in the shade Macau. Now, I just want to do a swatch just to see if Macau is the same across the board. So I'm going to test out the new one and then see how it compares to the others. So let's just start. So you have the new foundation, the light reflecting. So I'll just do one pump. Okay, this is pretty generous. That's what you get. How beautiful is this? Super nice. I think it's a good match. Let's see. Yeah. Beautiful. Super nice. So this is the light reflecting foundation. So I want to try, I feel like it looks really close to natural radiant in terms of texture. So I'm going to put a little bit of the natural radiant again in the shade Macau and I'm putting a little bit less because the other one was just too much. Yeah, same texture as the natural radiant except the natural radiant I feel like is drying a little bit faster. But then again, I put a lot for the light reflecting. So we'll see. So far, you can tell a little bit, but not too much. Can you tell the difference? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, you can tell. So Knuckles is the light reflecting and then right under is the natural radiant. Going to try next the soft matte. Okay, you have the soft matte here. I feel like you can tell the difference. Okay, last one. And this one is very liquid. Definitely not the same texture. Okay, and then last one. I mean, essentially it looks like the same. I don't know if that makes a difference, but anyway. So I'm gonna take the Milk Hydro Grip 
and then prime this half of my face and then on the other half just keep the foundation with um, skincare so primer so I'm going to put just one pump on the back of my hand and this is what you get for a pump start with this side It is definitely giving me medium. Like I have a spot right here and I feel like it's not covering it so we can always go back to see if it's buildable. So far so good. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit more. Oh, I put too much. Okay, I just put another pump. So I'll put this on this side then. Okay, and I'll take a little bit more again. It's really hard to get less than a pump. I feel like I'm putting a lot. Okay, okay. I'm just going to blend that out. I like it. So far, so good. Okay, blend this one out. Not gonna put too much on my forehead because my hairstyle. Looks great. So I still have a little bit left and I'm going to put it on this side just to match everything. I think the foundation looks pretty good really like it on my skin and um, so my hand had time to dry and seriously in person you can tell the difference I don't know if you can see it a little bit on my hand the only one that is the lightest out of all the foundations I tried is the natural the natural radiant is a little bit lighter but you can tell that the new foundation the light reflecting is matching the other ones except the natural I hope this helps. It is medium. I don't think this is buildable to a full. Um, you can still see a little bit of my dark spots. But other than that, for me, it's it's a great coverage. I'm happy. I want to finish the rest of my face. Time to try the setting powder. So I'll try it with the um, sponge that comes with, but it's very thin and flimsy, so I don't know. Okay, I'll just start on my chin first, just to see. Okay, not bad. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Let's keep going, I'll try again. Okay, and I'll put it a little bit on my forehead. And I'm using natural lighting if you're wondering. This looks good. Okay, bridge of my nose. This looks really good. So I want to try my sponge just to see. Okay. Not bad. I'll try using another sponge just because this one is pretty stiff. Let's see. Really nice, really light. Oh, it looks beautiful. Okay, just set my lids. What are we thinking? Loving it. Okay, 
So I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back. Final thoughts on the foundation and pressed powder. Now the foundation I think is beautiful, very skin-like. Um, it is not giving me full coverage. If you're looking for full coverage, this is not for you, okay? It is not buildable. At least when I tried it, I did a pump and a half on each side and it's still not giving me full coverage. Like you can still see the dark spots that I have on my cheeks and also the ones that I have close to my mouth and on my chin. I mean, in person, if you can see that, then you're really too close to my face. But um, for me, I don't mind it. I think it's beautiful. I just want my foundation to look like skin and this is what it's giving me. Um, and I love it. So really think the foundation is beautiful and it is a great match. So if I'm comparing this to the Natural Radiant, in terms of texture, they have, it's just exactly the same texture. The shade is not the same. Natural Radiant is lighter than this one. But the reason why I think this one is better is because by now, if I was wearing the Natural Radiant, I would start having a smile line. And here you can't, you can't see. I have no smile lines. And I have been talking. <laughs> you can't see it which is amazing and this is the side so how this side i don't have a primer so really good really nice my final thoughts for the setting powder i love that it's light and it looks very radiant on my skin it's not glowy it's not giving me matte which is good because some days you just don't want all your face to be matte you just want something radiant very skin like and i feel like the foundation and the setting powder work well together. Now, if I just want a full coverage, you know, um, mattifying setting powder, I'll probably go for something else. Very easy to apply. Like when I put it on um, my highlight, it looked really nice. I like a nice bright under eye and I feel like it toned it down a little bit, which I don't mind because everything I have usually it just will enhance that and make my under eye brighter and then make it matte. Whereas this one will just give you, you know, we'll set it, keep it radiant, tone it down just a little bit, and then um, you're good to go. So I really like it for that. And uh, my skin looks beautiful, really nice. Like you can still see my highlight, but it's just not as bright. Pretty much everything. I think the foundation and the setting powder work well together. I will have to try these separately and see how they work with my other favorite products. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know if you're considering getting either one of them or both. Let me know your thoughts. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I would truly appreciate it and I'll see you next time.